you write any poetry yourself? I um, I did. I used to. Um, when I was about sort of the age Alan is in this film, actually, I was writing loads. Um, but, uh, you know, none of it bears repeating. Um, <laughs> it's all very fun. I've, I've written, actually, a couple of things recently which aren't so bad. But, um, yeah, no, I, I love poetry. I always, always have. I'm a total geek for it. For me, it was probably initially uh, Kerouac um, books, but On the Road, of course, and um, Visions of Cody and Big Sur were, like, books that I really enjoyed. Um, and then it, it led me to explore the other stuff, but those were the those were the sort of in. Um, I don't know. I mean, I didn't have honestly like a super special relationship with the Beats, so I don't know that there was like necessarily one that like was my favorite. The physicality of the, what you two need to do as Camerera and, and uh, uh, Lucian is uh, uh, difficult to watch and it's very physical. Was, were there any injuries or were, was there a lot of blocking need to happen to make sure there wasn't any injuries? No injuries, I don't think. No, I mean, you know, maybe some minor scrapes and bruises, you know, um, like, like when you drag me through the... Uh, beach or whatever, the glassy but beach. the glassy, the glassy <laughs> syringe covered Hudson River beach. We, we didn't really have time to maybe, uh, you know, it was down and dirty as you've said, you know, it was, it, we didn't really have time to take all precautions that uh, everything was perfectly <laughs> safe. But, uh, but we but came out all thankfully, right. Thankfully, no, no broken bones. Uh, no, no permanent scars. I have trouble sort of finding out who, like, who categorizes as beat poets other than these guys. I mean, does like Richard Brautigan count? Mm -hmm. Like, because he would be somebody that I've like. He's that was uh, in terms of other than these guys. In fact, actually, like, out of all these guys, like, there's if you, uh, in Watermelon Sugar is one is a really weird little book, but I remember loving that when I first was like reading when I was first sort of exploring all these guys when I was younger. Um, but really, like the the revelation to me in in doing this film was learning about the personal lives of these guys because I knew nothing about their personal lives. You sort of I, you know you're content to just see them as icons and then not really investigate and actually looking into them like they found out there's like a huge there was such a it's a very complicated group of people. Ben Foster plays William S. Burroughs, old friend from Six Feet Under. Yeah. Uh, did you and he uh, know who was cast or was it a surprise? Um, I mean I, when I found out that he when I when I signed up to do it I didn't realize that he was going to do it. It was shortly after that that I did though and I was I mean I was really excited to to work with him again and reconvene, you know, but also just excited because he's, you know, awesome. And I was, you know, I thought it was a really, really great casting. I heard somebody say he's the best William S. Burroughs since Midnight Cowboy. <laughs>